hello friends welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to teach you some really cool way to share files between computers okay by computers i mean remote server and stuff like that so we all know what ssh is. so let me ssh into my friend's computer and it is going to ask for a password i will type the password and after that oh you got you got some really frustration right here okay so this is not my server this is my friend's server and we we know each other's password here you can see that i can do whatever i want so let me create some file here so some file some it's really hard to come up with names okay some f society f society dot dead file okay so i have this file f society dot dead here by the way this is free bsd this is not linux so it's it's pretty cool so what i want to do is i want to download this f society dot dead but not by ssh i don't even know how to do that via ssh so what i will do is i will use sftp and again root at rush rush dot xyz and let's type the password okay so it's a long long password so here you can see if i do ls i'm getting fsociety.dead now this might sounds like you are using a terminal but in reality it's just some you know oh, help okay so it's just some commands which are provided by the program sftp which you can run so what i want to do is i want to if i do ls again so right now i am in the directory where i have this fsociety.dead file and let me open a new terminal and uh, let me do this thing which is ls so here i don't get any fsociety.dead so what i'm going to do is i'm um, just type get and then fsociety and just step completion and press enter so it's fetching and if i do ls here so i got the file so this is one way of doing the thing but it's it's not very cool right uh so what we are going to do is we can also do some other stuff like for example if i have some elliot.dead file here and if i just want to put it so i can put elliot.dead like this so it, this is going to upload and if you got some multiple files like um let's let's create something like uh let's let's do so i got this one jpeg two jpeg three jpeg m put and then you know dot jpeg so this is going to multiple put and here if i do ls so we got all the files like one jpeg two jpeg three jpeg and if i delete all the jpeg from my you know computer and if i just want to download it again so i can do m get all right so dot jpeg so here if i do ls again so it's downloading all right so if i do ls i got all the files back how cool is that let me delete that and let me get out of it because this is enough and you can just do man s ftp and you can learn more but we are going to do more stuff with it but let's talk about the other tool which is scp which i mostly use so i use this program a lot first of all so let me ssh into uh, my computer so webwriter.com this is my server basically it's uh this is where i host my website my mumble server and a lot of stuff so this is my computer and this is also my computer but in the cloud and i i just want to share some file uh so from here to here so how i do this this is how i do things literally like i share files with my website like this so this is my website for example and it, suppose if in images i got this um you know image freebsd devil dot jpeg so what i'm about to do is scp and then free bsd devil dot jpeg and uh, all right so i need some more space let's just close this and let me increase the text so here i'm going to type root or oh, not root root oh god i can't really type i'm a really shitty typer okay so root all right so this is the directory where i want to just send this previous dot table dot jpeg and let's press enter get the password okay so it's shared it's it's uploaded so let's ssh into the computer my computer and let's see the file is there and okay so file is here so if i do pwd so here you can see and uh, this is how i manage things like if i go to my uh, not local config shell and open lesrc so here you can see uh, this thing this thing here okay so this command sync site so i use rsync so you can also use rsync not scp and i 
I just, oh, why I'm showing you this? Like, like, yeah, this is another tool. This is not SCP. So you can use rsync, but SCP is like, I don't know what's the difference between SCP. Let's just, let's just Google it. Okay. Let's not Google it, duck, duck, it. So what is the difference? between i think rsync is more advanced and scp is unix utility it comes with uh your like ssh i believe uh let's try to find things the major difference between these tools uh, is how they copy files scp basically reads the source and writes the destination it performs plain linear local copy i like scp more by the way rsync also copy files locally and over the network but it didn't oh god this is so much to read uh data transfer algorithm so rsync use some you know data transfer algorithm something more advanced which you can read so basically the 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 difference is internally but as a user there is no difference okay. now let me tell you some really good stuff about sftp okay so many people use sftp in browsers and by many people i mean those people who create browsers you know integrate this functionality so you can ssh into your computer by using some gui browser by your computer i mean your cloud computer so it will ask for password and let's do forget immediately and press enter and here i am in my computer but from gui browser so this feature is implemented via sftp and let me go to the directory root and i can you know the image is here and i can delete it so i can delete uh, like i can do all the operation